I'm Dan Allerman, I work for Innovative Lighting, and I'm gonna show you guys how to change over a eight foot fluorescent fixture into a four foot LED fixture. Okay, so here we are. Uh, step one is going to be to cut power to the fixture, which I'm not going to do right now because we've got a quick connect in there so I can take the bulbs out and disconnect power without having to cut a live wire. So first step, take the bulbs out. And then take off your face plates. Once those are down, you'll have access to the ballast and all the wires to the fixture. Here's your quick connect. Pretty simple. Now power is dead to the ballast. And you can cut every wire here without risk of shock. So from there, now that I've got, I've ensured that power is dead to the ballast, I will cut the black and the white. And all our power is going to be coming for the new tubes. Our power is going to be coming to these tombstones. So we've got two reds and two blues coming off. So we will cut those loose at the ballast. And now we can remove our tombstone bracket. Okay, for these single-ended power tubes, um, you're going to need a unshunted tombstone. You can see here, these are shunted. You can tell because there are only, only ports for wires on one side. So there's a little metal bridge in there, which means they are no good for a single-ended power tube. So we'll take those out. And I have these tombstones pre-wired. So I've got line and neutral. I've got my line in blue, neutral and red, just for demonstrations purposes. And you just want to make sure that you've got a connection to each tombstone for each side. So you've got one here, one here, one here, one here, and you've got wires coming out to connect to the AC power. Clip these into place. Take my white and my black that are attached to the quick connect. Strip those ends. Again, demonstration purposes, we're going to go red for neutral, blue for line, white to the neutral reds, black to the line blues, and we are ready to put these back in. Make sure you've got all your wires tucked up underneath your brackets, otherwise your fixture is not going to look very good when you're finished. Those just pop right back into place. Reconnect your quick connect. You've got power back to these two stones. Reattach your fixture plate. And you want to make sure you don't have any wires pinched between 
the fixture box and the plate, otherwise that could cause some issues down the road. All right, so for your single-ended power tubes, this is the side that you want to connect to the powered tombstones, and the side of the tube with the L and the N needs to be facing down. On the back side, you'll see there's no L and N, and if you look, there's a strip of LEDs that needs to be pointing down instead of up. And that's it. I'm gonna show you basic tools you'll need to complete an install. A set of side cut wire cutters, a set of wire strippers, a um, variety of screwdrivers. I like to have an 11 in one. It's got a Phillips tip, flat tip, and then uh, several different sizes of nut drivers. Good to have a voltage tester just to make sure you're not cutting into any live wires. A little flashlight. And then, you know, just good to have a marker in case you're putting up, putting up a new, new fixture. You want to make sure you mark where, you know, where you're putting your brackets just to make sure you don't have everything lined up wrong. And then the last thing you'll need is a ladder. Just make sure you have one tall enough to reach the lights. Just going to show you real quick how to use your voltage tester to make sure you're not cutting live wires. Pretty simple. Click it on, run to your line. That tells you that you're, you've got a hot wire. And then the difference. No voltage, good to cut. And then one more thing um, about the ballasts. You want to make sure if you've got an old magnetic ballast, if it's got PCBs in it, you, make, you want to make sure you get those pulled out and disposed of properly. Uh, the ballasts we've got in here are electronic instant start, no, no PCBs, so we are good to leave these in the ceiling. Uh, demonstrating how to wire up the tombstones for the single-ended power tubes. So, I guess I'll start here. You see we've got the unshunted tombstones and I've got a blue wire connected to the line side, red wire connected to the neutral side. And these are jumped together, blue on the right side for both, red on the left side for both. You can put this wire in either of those holes and the bulb will work. So from here, since it's a four tube fixture, we're going to make a set of four tombstones. So we're going to take a longer red wire, actually two, one for each side, and your red is going to go into there. Your blue is going to go into here, and then You'll do the same thing on the other side. Blue, long wire, red, long wire out. And then we'll take a wire nut, put your red, and your, your second red will attach there. Take your blue, put that in, and Your second blue, so just imagine there's two of these. A second, a second red and blue coming out of this side and connecting to these same wire nuts where your white wire will attach and your black wire will attach. Great. All right, so at the end of each job, you're gonna have a bunch of old bolts. Um, I like to give the customer the option because, I mean, they bought them, they paid for them until, until they decide they don't want them, they belong to the customer. So I'll give them, give them the option to keep them, sell them on Craigslist, whatever they want to do with them. If they want us to dispose of them, you cannot 
take them to the landfill. You have, they're, they're hazardous waste, so you, they have to be disposed of properly. Um, I know Home Depot, uh, Home Depot will accept your bulbs. Um, other than that, you need to take them to a hazardous waste landfill um, and have them disposed of there. Or if you have a bulb crusher, that's another another thing you can do. You grind up the bulbs and make sure they're disposed of properly because there is mercury in the bulbs and throwing them away in a regular dumpster is illegal.